So for this uh, MetaHuman Easy Curves control rig plug-in to work, you have to make sure you have your MetaHuman already set up in your scene, and also make sure that you have the Mesh Morpher plug-in set up. And once that's done, you can unzip the plug-in here, or the control board, copy this folder over to your content folder of your project and it should be already set up right here so this plugin I created while uh, working on the MetaHuman Wizardry course uh, for specific reasons um, if you have a lot of curves that you want to add correctives to non-destructively this would probably be the best way I have um, a corrective curve pretty much for every single metahuman animation curve in the face so once it's opened up just make sure you compile and depending on what you you know which character you're gonna use it on on metahuman make sure you switch it uh, in the rig hierarchy here so if you go to root and on here just right click and go to refresh and select the one you're going to use. In this case, it's going to be the Cooper face mesh. Give that a second. So there, it's all up to date. So this rig pretty much is uh, modified to have a corrective curve on pretty much the backwards and forwards solve of every single animation curve in the face so here you have all your setup um, if you go over to the my blueprint section you'll see here that we have these drop downs for you know that are categorized by section so it makes it easier so here you have all your mouth press your mouth blow your corner sharpens all that stuff pretty much for everything your jaw expressions animation curves so it's pretty much just uh, a modified control rig to have all the correctives set up for you so we're gonna do some examples here and I'll show you how it works so let's go ahead and uh, just save and then we can minimize this don't close it Let's go ahead and open up Mesh Morpher. Uh, so now we're in Mesh Morpher. Let's go ahead and select that Cooper Face Mesh. I'll zoom in here. Uh, make sure your Mesh Morpher is up to date as well. So in Mesh Morpher, you have all these uh, sections here. You have all your animation curves and your morph targets. Uh, what we're concerned about is the animation curves here. So let's say, for example, the blink. We go to blink here. And we activate that. You can see that it actually shows you what the blink is. So we're going to create a corrective for this. So if we go up here and we'll just say blink L C for corrective. It's going to create a new morph target here. We just scroll down. So now if we go into this morph target here, we have all these tools that we can modify. So I'm just going to do something really simple. So on the head shader mesh here, I'm just going to grab and pull something out. So when the character blinks, the corrective is going to activate. So let's undo that. Let's just pull this out. Something like that. Yeah, we'll go with that. So we'll save that. Go ahead and save. So once it's set up, you want to make sure you go here, right click, and copy the name. <clears throat> Remember, this is the, uh, the Blink L, so if we go back into our control board here, Right here, 
and if we look for the eyelid section you're gonna see the eye blink L the same name so if you go to the details panel here you're gonna see that the value is set to none uh, go ahead and update that in there and compile also you want to make sure you refresh the rig hierarchy every time if you have new mesh uh, new morph targets in there always you have to refresh if not they're not going to show up so go in here and then just refresh just double check here so under eyelids there's the blink you have blink LC so if you compile and save so you can do this pretty much to every animation curve using a corrective um, and it'll update this way so let's say if we go in here and we go to the blink which is this one see that it updates automatically yeah so that's pretty much the easy curves um, custom control rig that I created uh, it could be used pretty much for any metahuman face control rig um, also make sure for this to work on your metahuman let's close this out just make sure that in the face skeletal mesh you update the actual control rig here and set it to the one called easy curves control rig this way it can work in your sequencer or in the uh, viewport correctly and that's pretty much it.